and I will I will move the that we name the College of Medicine, uh, the uh, Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine at Florida International University, and also name uh, Dr. Wertheim the uh, Trustee Emeritus status. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second. It's improperly moved to use the said stated motion to name uh, the College of Medicine, the uh, Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine, and to also honor him with the title of Trustee Emeritus. Are you ready to vote? Yes. yes. All in favor, let it be known by the usual sign of aye. 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 Opposers have the same right. Ayes have it and so ordered. The chair is yours. Thank you very much. Is Dr. Wertheim somewhere in the in the vicinity? We would It seems like deja vu. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you think that this is making you feel good. This is really making myself, my wife, and our family feel good. Because, you know, I've been in business now for 42 years, 43 years. Uh, went through, what, 13 years of education. Uh, had a wonderful uh, experience uh, both socially and uh, spiritually here in South Florida and for us to be able to say these are some of the fruits of our labor and some of the joy of our heart that we would like to plant a seed so that others can enjoy the great oak tree that will grow from this university and from our medical school so thank you so much for being so kind and so generous to honor Nicole and I <laughs> Well, the burden is getting heavier. Uh, I mean, uh, it's wonderful to be back again. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, this is our hometown. Miami, South Florida is our hometown. This is where I built my business. This is where I raised my two beautiful daughters. Uh, this is where I socially I'm involved. This is my hometown. And my goal is to be able to be an instrument of good future just like we've been in the past. This medical college is going to produce the first seeds that's going to improve the quality and the ability to be able to obtain medical care within a reasonable period of time. I hope that we at FIU can become the Henry Ford of medical education, that we can produce thousands of great health care students and graduates, not hundreds, but thousands. And I look forward to when we can use our facilities here for training our students 24-7. I've talked to the dean about trying to start a night medical school. There's no reason that if we have night law schools and night MBA programs that we can't have a night medical school. So let's use our facilities to the utmost of our abilities. Thank you so much for all the people who have been involved in this. This is not a one-person task. This was a task of hundreds and tens of thousands of pieces of paper and tens of thousands of hours. This was not. This, this was almost a dream that was impossible. When I got up the first time at the trustee meeting and said, we need to have a medical school, and after 45 minutes of presenting the case, every single trustee raised their hand and said, let's do it. And so from the time when we had a little spark, we now have a roaring fire. Thank you so much for all the help that all of you have given this community in obtaining this medical school, our medical college. And I asked Mitch Bidegas, what's their big school and college? He said, well, college is more inclusive. I said, all right, so let's be more inclusive. Thank you so much again. And thank you to my wife, Nicole, who has been there to help me, and to my two daughters who have been involved in making the decisions to uh, make this wonderful gift from us to you. Thank you. Agradezco el gran placer que estamos hoy, este día, hablando sobre una escuela que es muy importante para esta comunidad. Es una escuela que uh, Herb Wertheim uh, empezó 
pensando como, como cada día en este lugar era muy importante para él, para toda la gente de, este, de esta ciudad, de este Miami Dade County. Eh, vamos. ¿Qué? No, no, no. no. El presidente va a la Eso es para que vean que aquí se baila merengue y poca. Ah, este no es un regalo normal, es el regalo más grande de la historia de nuestra universidad. Y no es un regalo que uh, va a tener un poco de impacto. Pero imagínense un 747 levantando con dos motores, que puede volar perfectamente con dos motores. Este, este regalo le suma a los otros dos motores y en vez de despegar así, va a despegar así. Uh, la contribución es enorme, va a mejorar el profesorado, las becas, uh, un programa de conferencias, es un regalo verdaderamente transformacional. Sí, presidente, muchas gracias porque es aún más significativo en esta época de deportes. Es especialmente significativo en una época de recortes. Aquí es muy fácil ponerse triste cuando ve 10 millones, 20 millones, 30 millones. ¿verdad? Que en estos momentos, en un momento en que el mercado está yendo bien, que los negocios que están yendo bien, que el doctor Huerta diga, este es el momento que yo quiero apostar mis 40 millones en este cuadro por el proyecto de Muchas gracias. <risa>